Well, what's up, America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel. Coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, the other day I was working around the house and I kept getting these uh, thoughts in my head. Uh, come, be, come see me, come see me, come visit with me. I couldn't quite put it all together. And then after a while I realized what it was. See, uh, uh, we got little inner voices to talk to us that tell us uh, things to do and not to do and stuff like that. And, and uh, <clears throat> when you're advanced in your brain like I am, you can uh, then you can turn that into being a telepathic and uh, talk to animals and things like that through your brain. And uh, I realized what it was. It was uh, Alan Spock. Uh, he was trying to contact me. He said him and uh, Billy uh, Smalley, a.k.a. Bigfoot, uh, would like to meet with me again. Uh, you may recall in a previous video where I uh, uh, had met uh, uh, the alien and uh, Sasquatch on the riverbank. And uh, so I realized that's what it was. He was wanting to have a meeting. We had talked about that uh, earlier and uh, meeting every so often just to see how each other was doing. So I uh, went out and uh, packed up a canoe and, and uh, loaded it up on a car and went on down the river. Had enough supplies there to live, uh, you know, go a few days and went on upstream and uh, got on up there after a few days and Sure enough, come around the curb there where I was before, and uh, there they sat on the bank. Old Billy and uh, Alan, Spock, and they was the fishing. And uh, so I pulled on up in there, and I said, uh, pulled on the bank, got up on the bank, and we greeted each other and hugged and shook hands and all that kind of stuff. And I said, uh, well, how are you doing on your fishing? You caught any fish? And they said, well, no, we can't seem to catch any. I said, uh, well... I brought some fish with me. I caught some a little uh, this morning, and I got them there, and we can have some fish later on today and stuff. You know, the, it's funny. Um, them uh, aliens are so smart and everything, and they're so advanced, uh, and, but they can't fish worth a crap. Isn't that something? So anyway, so we was sitting there on the bank having a good time and talking and reminiscing and so on and so forth, and uh, I uh, got curious, you know. I thought... To, I said, Alan, I said, uh, uh, you uh, come from another planet, right? He said, yeah. I said, and you said that uh, the way, reason the aliens uh, avoid us so much is on account we're such a violent society and wasteful and so far and so on and so forth. Is that right? He said, yeah. And I said, well, uh, then tell me a little bit about your civilization up there on the other planet. Well, how is it different? than down here on earth earth and uh he said well sure i'll explain it to you he said uh, first of all he said uh, on earth he said everybody's got a job and work uh, for money and uh he said uh, that's one thing that's different up on my planet he said there is no money nobody has any currency whatsoever he said uh, but everybody works he said uh but nobody gets paid any money for it and uh, they just work and then uh, whatever they need they just go get it if they want a car they just go get one and uh, and they don't have to pay for it that's one thing he said uh, and the other is it uh, like um, so if you have to go to the hospital or the doctor because nobody's getting paid uh, that's all free. You just go up there and they fix you up, help you out, or whatever you need to be done, they do it. It doesn't cost you nothing. And he said, uh, everybody uh, likes that. They're happy about it. Uh, whatever profession they're good at, the, the better they are at it, that's what they do. If they happen to be a carpenter and they're good at building stuff, and that's what they do, and, and they do it for free. And uh, if they um, <clears throat> happen to be a doctor or a lawyer, or so, well, actually, we don't need no lawyers up there, but they have to be a doctor or something other like that. They said that's what they do, and they don't charge nobody nothing for it. And it seems to work out pretty good. <clears throat> Everybody keeps working. And I said, well, I said, what about them lazy people that don't do nothing? Or, there's always people like that. He said, I don't know. It's funny. He says, uh, up on where we are, we don't have no problem with that. Everybody's happy because they're doing the stuff that they like to do. That's the trick to it. 
you uh, if you're an artist that's what you do you paint paintings and then you give them away and uh, so if uh, you know you're doing what you like to do you're not so concerned about the money I said well that's an interesting idea I had never thought about that so I guess I'd be a canoeing and a fisherman and give my fish away like I did to you guys today I said I did enjoy that I'm uh, happy to give fish to people and uh, and uh, after I catch them and stuff and he said yeah you see how that works I said well that's pretty cool and uh, so I said, uh, well, uh, how's, uh, when's the last time you um, had any contact with the big uh, head alien up there? I said, how's he doing? He said, he's doing just fine. He said, he's uh, considering coming on a visit pretty soon. And uh, I said, yeah, okay. I said, I heard about that. <clears throat> so uh, we talked on, we uh, into the night and uh, we had a good old time. And, and I said, uh, uh, Alan, I said, I got another question for you. I'm curious about it. And he said, okay. He said, uh, last time we talked, I said, you told me that uh, old Billy here and his uh, fellow kind of Sasquatches and uh, everything, they said they're going to inhabit the earth uh, later in life. And that's, uh, uh, why did you pick uh, the, the Sasquatches to do that? And he said, well, it's because they're a very uh, peaceful type of a uh, human. He said uh, they, uh, they don't believe in any kind of violence or anything like that, and they fit right on in. So we figure that when uh, mankind, uh, your mankind, destroys the earth through their greed of uh, raping the resources and uh, pollution and, and uh, global warming and so on and so on and wars, You'll wipe yourself out in the next 10 years or so. The Sasquatches will come on down here. They'll be peaceful. They don't know anything about war and stuff like that. And they'll just bring the earth on in, into a more peaceful situation. And everything will be better for everybody. And I said, well, you know, that's a shame. That's the way it's going to work out. But I guess that's, if that's what it is, that's what it is. So anyways, we, we partied on a little bit. And after a while, I left. And uh, we agreed to meet again. And talk some more later. So that's it for me. Jim Bob's out.